Hi guys, today I would like to talk about potential energy. Just observe this. So the bunny here, bunny means rabbit. It is using a rubber band to take the advantage to win the race again against the tortoise. So if you stretch a rubber band, so that rubber band stores some energy. That energy we know as potential energy. So how this rubber band stores energy? So let us understand that by taking another example. Let's understand about potential energy by observing this archery. So it's a very interesting sport, archery. By using bow and arrow to shoot the arrow, we need to pull the bow string. So here you can see that talented sportsmen, they are hitting target. It needs very high talent. So let us understand here a case. Ask a question. How the arrow is moving? What is the reason? So to move the arrow, what the players they are doing? They are stretching the bow string. You know the word string, the bow having string. So if they stretch the bow string, they are doing work. So this is the bow string. Yeah, this string, do you notice it here? He is stretching the string of bow. Now, this bow, his string is connected. He is holding the arrow with the bow. Now, this player is doing work. He is spending his energy by stretching this string. And whatever the work he is doing, that work is storing in the string in the form of potential energy. Now when he releases, when he releases, his work is converted into potential energy and that potential energy is transferred to the arrow. So, the arrow getting energy from the sports person because he is doing work and that work will store in the form of potential energy. So, if they do work, so that work will store in the form of potential energy. So whatever the work they are doing, so that work is stored in the string. So that's the way these bow strings are made up of special materials, just like elastic materials. So that is the advantage of that materials. They can store the energy in the form of potential energy, just like stretched rubber band. So here the sports person, whatever the work is doing, the athlete is doing the work. So that work is stored in the form of potential energy. Now that potential energy is used to convert to the arrow. So that's the reason the arrow is moving. So this is the one of the example how arrow moves. So all these shots are very nice. 
so whatever the work he is doing that work is stores in the form of potential energy the potential energy just transfers to the arrow to move now let's see one more example i think you all like to jump especially jumping on certain springs or spring bed or especially a material which is called as trampoline so in circus and all we used to see the trampoline so it is having certain elastic nature if we jump on it we will jump high so that's very good fun see how these are enjoying by jumping on trampoline so now you ask a question how they are able to jump and that is also height now that is due to because of the trampoline that material now that material is made up of a special category material that makes easy to jump now here if you can understand it here so this person is jumping on it so while he is jumping so he is applying force on the trampoline so they need to apply force on the trampoline that force causes work so he is doing work at here and the work so he is doing work or he is spending energy so that energy is transferred to this material trampoline it's l i n e trampoline now this trampoline will store the work what he did in the form of potential energy just like spring so whatever the energy is spent he is spending so that energy is stored in the form of potential energy now here this is the another type of material which is used to store the energy in the form of potential energy this is a very good fun so like this whatever work we do that will store in the form of potential energy in bow and in springs or in rubber band in all the cases so the energy stores in all the cases is potential energy so that is potential energy so to store the potential energy we need to do work whatever work we do or whatever whatever energy we spend so if you can remember work work is nothing but force times displacement and when you jump when you jump in the trampoline so you are applying a force on the trampoline and that trampoline is displacing it is moving down now you are applying a force that causes displacement and that is the work now that work will be converted in the form of potential energy so here the springs rubber band and trampoline all these are materials which stores energy in the form of potential energy they store energy in the form of potential energy
so we learn about kinetic energy do you remember kinetic energy so kinetic energy formula goes to half m v square suppose if you ask him what is the potential energy formula potential energy formula is equal to what so to understand that we need to discuss one more concept that is the potential energy due to height let us understand that first if you see ncrt the energy what we discussed it here in the activity is the rubber band the energy due to rubber band and a slinky a slinky is nothing but a long spring so a long spring is also a stretched long spring so which is known as slinky now if you do work on it so the energy what we are spending so that is stored in the object here in the object it means the rubber band or the slinky now an object is stored as potential energy now if you can go for that here you transfer energy when you stretch a rubber band so whatever energy we are spending to expand the rubber band just like this so i am spending my energy with the fingers to extend like this so that energy is stored that is stores in the form of potential energy in the rubber band so after that so we need to discuss about a another type of potential energy so that is due to because of height this concept is little more important please keep it in mind so the potential energy of an object at a height do you ever observe that why water tanks are situated at so height suppose if you take this is a height of tower so if you take this is a tower so above this tower the water tanks are stored so this is water tank why water tanks are kept at a height or why water tanks are kept above your house is it any necessary of that ones yeah there is necessary let us understand that first by observing one small example so let us observe this weight lifting so here the athlete he is lifting a weight of here it is a huge amount here it is given that 217 kg 217 kg huge weight observe the situation at here is he doing work yes he is doing work and ask a question what is the necessary that he need to do work why he cannot lift weights very easily now if you ask that question here something is doing work against that that is gravity how the gravity is doing work now if you remember work formula work is nothing but force times displacement according to newton's second law f equal to since f equal to ma so here in the place of a we can substitute acceleration due to gravity a equal to g so this formula gets converted as w equal to m g s here s is displacement suppose if we take the displacement from the ground to above height from here to here if i take this as height h so this is the work done equal to m g h 
now whatever the work i calculated here so that is the work done by the gravity now here we need to cautious more about directions in that case the acceleration due to gravity always adds downward direction g adds always downward direction but here the displacement if you can see displacement is upward direction so this is displacement direction now displacement direction and gravity direction is opposite now if i take at here that as a negative sign now in the place of g i need to put at here negative sign here becomes minus now if i can write that work done by gravity work done by gravity equal to minus mgh that is the work done by gravity don't be confused at here now why did i calculate the work done by gravity i suppose to calculate the work done by the earth right na so here the earth rate is doing work so how much the earth rate need to do it here and why he need to do work why the weights do not lift simply the 217 kg weight why it do not lift simply because the reason at here the gravity is doing work at here if that is the gravity doing work what about the work done by earth rate we can calculate the same like that work equal to formula force times displacement so here you can take the displacement is h and the displacement is upward direction and the force applied by the earth rate he is also applied force in the upward direction now here the displacement direction force direction they both are same so in that case the work equal to f in the place of f we can use newton second law f equal to ma and a equal to g acceleration due to gravity now this everything will be changes f equal to mg so mg and the displacement i have taken here h now the work done by the earth rate equal to mgh now here i can write that very clearly the work done by earth rate work done by earth rate w equal to mgh now this is the positive work he did he used his energy to lift the weights that energy is stored in the weights whatever the work he did he is spending so that is stores in the weights in the form of potential energy so if we lift the weights at a height so now displacement is increased more now here you can see two works here you can see now this much is the displacement now this is the height and be careful and what is the displacement direction so the displacement direction is along in this direction so this is the displacement direction whatever the force direction the force which is applied by the earth rate so this is the force direction they both are in the same direction if they both are in the same direction the work equal to mgh which is positive if the work is positive and as like the same at here so gravity is also doing work now if this is a height and the displacement is upward direction but gravity acceleration direction is downward direction they both are opposite at here now the work done by gravity 
इक्वल टू माइनस एम जी एच इफ द हाइट इंक्रीजेस दर्क ही नीड टू डू मोर वर्क इट मीन्स ही नीड टू स्पेंड मोर एनर्जी here whatever the work he is doing so that work will store in the form of potential energy now if we can write that what is the potential energy of this weight if this mass at this height calculate the potential energy so calculate potential energy of the weights Weight bar, you can take it. So we need to have the potential energy formula. Potential energy P equal to m g h. Okay. Suppose if you take this height as ten meters, and acceleration to gravity h equal ten meters, and acceleration to gravity g equal to also ten meters, and the weights here, the weights is given that two hundred seventeen kg. therefore potential energy equal to 217 times 10 again times 10 so the potential energy we got it at here 21700 energy units are joules so this is the potential energy of the bars and the same amount of potential energy right now this athlete is spending he is using to lift the weights so whatever the energy he spends so that energy stores at this height in the form of potential energy now finally you can say about the potential energy the energy due to height the energy due to height of the object is defined as potential energy so if any object is certain height that object having potential energy energy due to its position simple form energy due to its position is known as potential energy so its potential energy formula equal to mgh if object is on the ground here itself if height h is equal to 0 therefore potential energy equal to 0 so this is the concept of potential energy potential energy comes in the two like potential energy due to heights and the potential energy due to stretched rubber band or stretched string or stretched spring so to calculate the potential energy we use a simple formula potential energy equal to mgh so here you we need to more careful about that so the work done by the athlete and the work done by the gravity they both are the same but opposite in direction so while solving problems keep it in mind sometimes they will ask what is the work done by the gravity or sometimes they will ask what is the work done by the earth right so we shall solve some problems that gives better understanding about potential energy